everyone, I'm Katie, and in this video, we're moving beyond typing a text prompt and getting a video to actually directing your story and having more creative control over the final asset. The cornerstone of generative video on Google Cloud is Vio, accessible through Vertex AI. Vio gives you state-of-the-art cinematic quality, but its true power lies in its ability to take input beyond just a text prompt, allowing you to guide the narrative and ensure visual consistency across multiple shots. Today, we're going to dive into three key features that transform Vio into a powerful filmmaking tool, interpolation, extension, and image guidance. The first tool for shaping your narrative is interpolation. This allows you to define the start and end of a motion arc or scene transition, and Vio intelligently fills in the middle. We call this creating a video from first and last frames. This is perfect for ensuring a character's movement begins and ends exactly where you need it to, or bridging two entirely different visual concepts. Let's say I have these two images that depict a rabbit and a chipmunk in a forest. I would like the video to start with the frame of just the rabbit and end with the rabbit sitting next to the chipmunk. In order to accomplish this, navigate to the Vertex AI Studio page and select Generate Media, and then Upload. Choose the starting keyframe, and then click on Add Ending Frame. Add the video description in the prompt box, select the aspect ratio, video length, and finally, generate the new clip. You can see here that Vio ensures the video begins and ends with your exact reference points. To accomplish this in the Google Gen AI SDK for Python, use the Generate Videos method. In addition to a prompt, you pass in the file locations of the first and last frame using the image and last frame parameters. You can also configure the aspect ratio, number of videos, and video duration in the call. This all tells the model to interpolate the visual journey between two stills. Another crucial feature of any real-world video project is the ability to extend a clip to match an editor's timeline. Video extension lets you seamlessly continue an existing video, preserving the visual elements, motion, and characters from the original clip. To demonstrate this feature, I'll first generate an eight-second clip of a person driving in a car. Once this video is generated, hover over the generated video and click the AI Actions icon, and then select Extend Video. In this new prompt box, you can refine the continued action. You also set the duration and the Google Cloud storage path, where the new extended video will be stored. Vio stitches the new segment onto the original, maintaining consistency. If you'd like to extend an existing video, you can do so programmatically with the Google Gen AI SDK for Python. You call the Generate Videos method, but this time you pass the original video's cloud storage location using the video parameter. You'll also be able to specify the aspect ratio, number of videos, output Google Cloud storage location, and duration of time you'd like added to your original video. Your new text prompt then dictates the action for the next segment, creating a longer, continuous scene for your story arc. If you'd like to achieve precise artistic and character control, Vio allows you to use reference images to guide the generation process. This ensures style consistency without lengthy, complex text descriptions. Right now, Vio offers two main ways to guide the output. Subject guidance for consistency in character or object or scene, and style guidance for consistency in color, texture, or art style. For this example, say I have reference images of two people, and I'd like to generate a video of them drinking coffee in a cafe. In the Video tab, navigate to the Reference section in the Settings panel. Select either Subject or Style. Then, upload your reference images of the two people and input the prompt. Theo prioritizes the look of your uploaded reference images to maintain consistency in the final result. To do this in code with the SDK, you use the Reference Images list within your request configuration. For each reference image, you must specify the file image location and the reference type either set to asset or style. This gives you granular programmatic control over the generated video subjects and aesthetics. It's so nice to finally catch up. It really is. It feels like ages. By utilizing these core features, interpolation to structure your scenes, extension to maintain clip length, and reference image guidance for consistency and style, you can transform Vio from a text-to-video model into a powerful AI filmmaking tool.
Beyond these features, you're able to use VO for inpainting and outpainting. This means you can add or remove objects within a video and also extend a video by generating new content beyond its original borders. All of these abilities assist in evolving your story and controlling aspects of your creative vision, which is the real game changer for content creators and developers on Google Cloud. If you're ready to test out VO for yourself, check out the links in the description below to access the VO documentation on Vertex AI, along with all of the code samples and getting started guides you saw in this video. Thanks for watching and happy creating.